Hey guys, welcome to Silver Stones POV. Today in this video that I would like to share with you guys is to bring my 2021 Mustang Mach E to the supercharge station to see how fast it getting charged and how much it cost me uh, from uh, under 20% battery to 80%. I did keep track the mileage when this Mach E at 80% battery. Yeah, and after that, I can uh, calculate to see how much it costs me per kilometer to use this Mac E in uh, winter time. And also, the end of the video, I would like to compare the cost of this Mac E to the 2020 F-150 Raptor and the second vehicle is the 2013 Mercedes C300. Yeah, to see how much the cost or how much I save from electric vehicle over the gasoline vehicle. But before I bring this to the supercharged station, I would like to say uh, thank you you guys so so much uh, that all the comments on my one of my previous video about this Mustang Mach-E that I uh, compare the electric bill four months before I bought the vehicle and four months after I bought the vehicle. I know a lot of you guys said it's not a very accurate compare like that. Uh, it's not very precise. Yeah, I know, and I need some information, especially uh, the mileage. But anyway, uh, thank you, you guys, so so much with all the comments, all the advice, and all the uh, suggestions for me. Help me a lot for me to make a better video in the future. So right now, let's bring this. Mac E going to the supercharge station. So if I click on it's number eight, and they show me the direction. Obey traffic laws to get the there. And use voice commands while driving. Yeah, it show me the direction to get there, uh, which is very good if some place that you don't know how to get there and the first time. And on the instrument cluster screen. It also tell me to get to that place is 8 km and the range right now is 37 km. Okay, now turn it in. Here's Canadian tires. vehicle right now yep right there that the uh, flow uh, DC fast charge okay let's see the mileage uh, the battery percentage 14% 31 km range left and uh, the mileage 5785.8 so 5786 now let's open the charger port and this is for the DC fast charge the bottom one also the top one the combination Yeah, you can see the connector is like that. Okay. 
See this cable is huge. Very big. That's a level two, two dollar an hour. And this one is twenty dollar an hour. Okay, now it's charging. You can hear this station is running. And here you can see Vehicle charge at 14%. Now just have to wait to sit and wait another an hour. Here, yeah, right now, you guys can see the the charge is going down. So still 380 volt, but it's going down to 21 amp. So it's 50 kilowatts and 125 amp, but now it's going down to 21 amp. So that means uh, almost get to 80 percent. Let's check the app first. Okay, now it's 80 percent. Twenty dollars sixty-two cents. So now I can turn it off. So I forgot to. <laughs> Close this charge port and uh, the door, and the message tell me there's 80 percent, and the mileage 5,786. Yeah, so now uh, I got the number, and let's do some calculation and see. Okay, here's my cheat sheet. There are so many numbers, I can't remember all of it. So when I charged the mileage at 80%, the mileage was 5,605, and when it at 14% at the supercharged station, 5,786. So that means I drove 181 kilometers, like around a week. And now when I'm using supercharged, it's charging 45 kilowatts, in like almost one hour and two minutes and it cost $21 just a little bit under $21 and uh, so 21 divided by 181 equal just under 12 cents so let's say 12 cents per kilometer for using this Mac E um, by charging by the supercharged station and in winter time so about $12 for every 100 km. Now, when charging at a supercharged station, $21.45 kW, so it costs about uh, just under 47 cents for every kilowatt. Now let's see um, how much based on 45 kW to charge from 14% uh, to 80% if I charge at home. My electricity rate at home is a flat rate. So I just signed a new contract with NMAC. It cost me 6.89 cents. So let's round up to 7 cents uh, per kilowatt. So 45 kilowatt times 7 cents is $3.15. So if I charge at home for that much energy, 45 kilowatt into this Mac E, it cost me three dollar fifteen cent. If I use the same mileage, one hundred eighty one kilometer, it cost me one point seven cent. So let's say two cent per kilometer for charging the Mac E at home, and that uh, cost about one dollar seventy cent, or let's say two dollar for every hundred kilometer. Now, let's say we use supercharged station and compare to my other vehicle, um, 2013 Mercedes C300 uh, V6 3.5 liter. So I drove in one week 180 km, about the same uh, 
this Mac is 181 dollars and it cost me 34 dollars to fill up uh, the Mercedes with premium gas Octane 91 it cost about 1 dollar 60 um, 1 dollar 61 cent something so 34 dollars 180 kilometers so it cost me about 18 let's say 19 cent per kilometer on the Mercedes so 19 dollars every 100 kilometer on the Mercedes the Mac E the Mac E used a supercharged station so 12 dollars and the Mercedes 19 dollars yeah so you still can save some money there and if I use it, using this one at home it's only cost two dollars for every uh, hundred kilometer, so it saved me seventeen dollars for every hundred kilometer between this Mac E and the and the Mercedes. And now go to the 2020 F150 Raptor that I use every day that my daily driving for mostly weekday when I'm going to work and uh, going to groceries shopping sometimes. So the, the Raptor I only um, using for a day to uh, track the, the mileage and, and the fuel cost. So one day I use the Raptor uh, 38 kilometer cost me $11. It's also a premium fuel Octane 91. And yeah, $11 in 38 kilometer. So it's 29 cent per kilometer and 29 dollar for every 100 kilometer yep so it cost 10 dollar more for every 100 kilometer compared to the mercedes 29 dollar every 100 kilometer on the raptor um, 19 dollar on the mercedes and 12 dollar on this mac e using supercharge and two dollar if you're charging at home that based on um, the energy that charge at a supercharged station from 14% to 80% yeah so what do you guys think electric vehicle is it still save a lot of money if it's if you're using the supercharge if you go on a road trip it just spend more time to charge at the supercharged station compared to the, the gasoline vehicle yeah you got it guys so that the cost of charging the electric vehicle at a supercharged station and at home so how much per kilometer and how much for every hundred kilometer compared to uh, the gasoline vehicle yeah so save a lot of money and let me know what do you guys think so that's it for this video thank you you guys so much for watching hope you like and please subscribe to my channel uh, really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day